the challenges, I think sheer volume is an issue in, in a large space, can be a challenge to be able to manage and deal with stage, loud, loud stage volume and, and a loud show, if you will. So that, that is a challenge. But these are wonderful people to work for, so I'm very blessed in that way. This is the new Avid S6L console, digital console. Um, all touch screen uh, user abilities, very similar to their other software. Of course, I have 128 tracks of Pro Tools recording, AVB, plus 128 tracks of MADI recording, simultaneously independent of both recorders. So that's primary, secondary recording. You can see the, the, oops, you can see down here, here's the Avid S6L engine and there's the recorder. It's all in a nice tight package. This over here is the, is the little baby child Avid S3L console. And we're using it as a backup console. Again, touch screen. It helps you do everything you need to do with the touch of, of, your, of your finger. The biggest thing with these consoles is their sound. They sound amazing. The biggest innovation that happens with these consoles is a feature called layouts. And if you can drill in here, I have my show layout but my system engineer has his own layout. It's all interchangeable, so if I get to a guitar solo, this is Tony's channels right in front of us. All of the drums come right in front of us. So layouts is a really, really big thing. Also, snapshots, of course, all uh, recallable and programmable. This means I never have to go into the console to look for something. If I want to find Geezer's bass, I just hit it. My mix stays always in front of me. His channel's right next to me, like that. Um, we're gonna put it back in, in the system engineer mode because we're gonna tune the PA right now. Instead of using plugins, I change microphones because this console is allowing me to make that hearing, hear that changing difference. So instead of going for a plugin or going for an insert and immediately changing because I don't like the same of the sound of the kick drum or the snare drum or Ozzy's vocal, I change the microphone and I, I, I just, I invite every engineer to try this method because it's gonna shock you as to what it does to the sound of your mix. And now it's organically developing a sound of your mix, not artificially with a plug-in or an EQ or some compression. Now we're building a sound organically with the right input, with the right musician in front of the right microphone. The, the digital consoles these days now are delivering that sound of the microphone to our ears very similar to what I first experienced when I was a, a studio engineer so long ago. Well, all, Ozzy's always sang through a Shure uh, 58. He likes the mic. We, we have had great success with it. And it's the right mic for him. Now, if it was a different singer, we would use a different mic. But I've tried so many different mics on Tony Iommi's guitar. Um, snare drum. We, 
just changed the other day to an Audex i5 and we were all blown away at how it changed, completely changed the sound of the kick drum or the snare drum for, for the better. Without us going to EQ and manufacturing that sound or going to a plug, plug in and manufacture, no, organically that mic, I, uh, Audex i5 completely gave us the sound we were look, looking for on that snare drum. I've been a Claire fan, a Claire Brothers fan, since I was a child. <laughs> and so luckily, I've had the fortunate ability to work with them. I've always wanted to work with the very best and the very brightest people in our field. And I felt that when I, go to, when I went to Claire, I found a great home there of those type people, those types of people people that really strive to be the very best. Learn to play an instrument. Learn to listen. Don't make the mistake of reading about somebody else's technique and then you copy it blindly and then you've not discovered anything for yourselves. Don't take my process. Take my process, but don't, don't mimic it. Find your own way. There are no rules now. This is another wonderful thing that you asked earlier about what has changed and technology has freed us of the barriers of what used to be we had to do certain things in lockstep to make sound work because we were constrained now the the boundaries have gotten wider and wider and and if you overstep a boundary you're going to hear it you're going to know right away that you've done something that is not so good but if you just simply read a magazine and take somebody's vocal process or copy my kick drum you're not you're not developing your own, your own passion, your own organic feel and, and vision of what, how you want to create your sound landscape. So play an instrument, be yourself, there's no rules. This is a worldwide endeavor now for young engineers. You're not gonna be able to just stay in Germany and work. No, you're gonna be, if you want to, you're gonna be traveling the world and you're gonna be going to far off places. Sometimes you can't bring all of this big amount of equipment. So you have to be agile, you have to, to uh, innovate and be able to and be able to, uh, what would you say, not live on the edge, but, but be open and free and, and, and be able to deal with situations. But the, the main thing here is we live in a global society. You get with an artist, they're not gonna just stay in Germany. No, they're gonna have to go to France and then they're gonna have to go to Italy. And then before you know it, they're going to the United States. And before you know it, you're going to Japan and on and on and on. And that's just the way it is now. So I embrace that, I do. It's a wonderful world we live in. Yes, I use my beloved Claire Cohesion 12 PA in the United States and everywhere else and I'm here in Germany with it. But when we went to South America, it just wasn't possible. The logistics were not possible. So I used other systems. When you come to Europe in the heat of the European festival season, those are those are long term, term in institutionalized uh, festivals. They have s specific systems that they've used for 30 years in some places. Grass, Grass Pop in Belgium is, what is it, a 35 year old festival? They have their own vendor. So you're not gonna get your PA of choice. However, 
The PAs nowadays are so, so perfectly designed that you can go from manufacture A, B, or C and you're gonna be fine.